Welcome to Channel 112 News. I'm Jace Cranston. Our top story today, hunting. How safe has it really become throughout the years? But first, we take a look at this strange December weather. What's causing it and why? We go to our reporter, Jordan Michaels. To many, December brings the tradition of Christmas. But what is Christmas without snow? This is a question that the majority of the northeastern populace finds themselves wondering as the chilly temperatures are absurdly absent. The verdict? The polar vortex, says Mike Halpert, deputy director of climate prediction at the NWS. This band of cold air surrounding the Arctic that we call the Arctic isolation is being very tight right now. Normally, changes in pressure cause that band to expand south towards the U.S. and make things a lot colder. This time around, however, the cold air is being kept north, making temperatures for the northeast a lot more pleasant, which is certainly leading to much confusion for the locals. You know, all things considered, it is pretty unexpected uh, this time of year, having weather up in the 60s, uh, man, even the 70s. And while it does seem that there will be no sleigh bells ringing this following Christmas, many people are, however, breathing a sigh of relief over the cost of their heating bills. Thanks, Jordan. Speaking of weather, we now go to our reporter, Wesley Easton, for our five-day forecast. Wesley? Thanks, Jace. What we can see here throughout the week is what we've come to expect for this December, higher than normal temperatures. As you can see right now, it is currently 49 degrees, which is mild and something you won't quite expect. But as we go out throughout the week, come Thursday, it's going to turn into a chilly 38 degrees. So when it comes to that point, make sure you got your coats out there, guys. Thank you, Wesley. Now for our main story. Honey, how dangerous is it? We take you back to Jordan for more. How does this one sound? Hand hundreds of thousands of people guns, send them out in the wilderness before dawn, and expect them to have it ready to fire at all costs. Spells disaster, right? Wrong. According to John McKay, executive director of the International Hunter Education Association, hunting is getting safer all the time. In fact, studies show that football players, skateboarders, and even golfers have a higher likelihood of injury than hunters. Firearm safety classes seem to have certainly helped the cause, says avid hunter Eugene Bobineau. I saw one of them deer out there, and I was going to take the shot, but I remember why I was taught about effective firing range. When interviewing a firearms instructor, Dale Rothschild, he gave his input on what he thinks is the cause for less incidents in the hunting environment. I'm almost sure it's because of hunter safety. It's what we dwell on the most. Rothschild is very ecstatic about the future of hunting safety and is optimistic about a future where there are no hunting accidents in Pennsylvania. Thanks again, Jordan. That's it for your daily news. From Channel 112 News, this is Jace Cranston signing off.